Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Samsudwa. Uh, people call me uh, Dr. Doha here. Um, uh, I served Chittagong University of Chittagong for 18 years, and this is my fourth year in Western Illinois University. Apart from this, I have done my PhD in uh, Australia. So my PhD was in highly quantitative methodology. Uh, I used simulation uh, study, and my field was very interestingly Bangladeshi poultry industry. Okay, because that was my family business uh, since long. So I'm proud of it because I know the process from my childhood. So that's why I did uh, the research, the things I know better. So anyway, this is not my domain right now, research methodology. Um, your professor is my bosom friend. So just on the take a motto, I'm just uh, delivering something. Uh, 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 what I believe, Professor, doesn't mean that he or she knows everything. Uh, this is, I, I didn't prepare myself that very well uh, because I, I have a, like a little busy schedule with uh, kicking off my semesters and all this uh, going on. So anyway, I'm going to share one uh, PowerPoint. Let's see. There it is. Oh. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. okay. The things uh, I'm going to discuss very basic thing uh, for quantitative and qualitative because most of the people are getting confused. Uh, what is quantitative and what is qualitative? So. Quantitative itself is a word which denotes that uh, something uh, related to quantification, right? Like one, two, three is a quantification. So uh, whenever you express something that in number, that is quantity. But people are always stumbling uh, with the word of qualitative. What is qualitative? Is it something quality writing? Is it something expressive thing? Is it something different? Obviously, I'm not belongs to qualitative research. I never did any qualitative research, but whenever you learn research methodology, then you have to know the difference between these two. Because nowadays it's very popular using mixed method. That means the quantitative plus qualitative. So that means whenever you are doing something research, for example, you are going to do a PhD or writing any research paper, then you need the methodology. So what kind of methodology you are going to use that completely depends on your problem definition. Uh, the first thing I said, because you the guys are undergraduate students, some of them are going to be graduate very soon, but it's not enough uh, uh, like a standard level to understand uh, the research because whenever, even when I became teacher in Chittagong University in 2001, and, uh, and actually I took three to four years to understand what is research because I didn't have any background, we didn't have any facilities like this. It's a free uh, seminar, workshop, or lecture, whatever you say. Uh, my friend is arranging. I am living in the U.S. I am working in U.S. university. We never get such thing in in our student life. So now technology make the things much more easier, and uh, and some of the people has intention to express their experience to give their learnings, whatever they learn, because they didn't get enough learning. Um, I can still remember I walk so many door. Um, I'm not saying any bad word, everybody is respectable. I do respect everyone. Uh, but I was really get very little idea on research. Even I was an assistant professor on that time, I became assistant professor. So I am telling this, you need to walk so many doors so that you can understand what is the limitation. And then you have to work on the limitation. It may take some time. I took, I think, uh, a decade. I should say, or more than a decade to learn 
backward his research. I'm not saying I did fantastic research after 10 years. I said, I learned a little bit that what is research. How? Because I, when I pushed to conduct a course of research methodology in a public university, private university, and then I start learning myself. Whenever I'm reading myself, then I'm exploring, oh, this is something new. Though I was a teacher, I'm a professor of that course, but whenever I'm reading it, I'm researching it, desk, desk researching it, I'm reading a couple of notes, Google, uh, Google notes or any kind of other book chapters or any kind of research paper, but then I gradually understanding, oh, this is something other. Still, I believe I know 20% of it. So it's an ocean. If you come this um, perspective, then I should say uh, it's like an ocean kind of things. So you have to dig your own ocean if you want to. And if you do job permit or something like that, then you will do that. Anyway, I will try to stick on the quantitative and qualitative uh, things because I'm not going to uh, say your teacher already hope. Uh, explain what is research or types of research and all these things. So very simplified way, as I said, whenever you are talking about quantitative research, that means it dealing numbers and the statistics or mathematics, whatever. The second thing is very critical that because the qualitative research deals with word and meaning. And this is very difficult and initially still um, you know, those who are doing qualitative research, um, uh, I'm just wondering how they summarize uh, like a, a bunch of survey or, or uh, uh, like a, uh, from a case study and for, from an interview, uh, how they uh, like make a summary and, and based on the summary so that you can understand, oh, this is the scenario like the statistics and number, the way you understand, it's very easy to understand one and 10, you can find the difference. But from the qualitative viewpoint, and it's very hard to understand, then what is the real meaning? I'm giving you a little example. I'm not sure uh, what you have been taught in school um, life. In our time, we have had like a, two different uh, things we have gone through uh, in Bengali, um, uh, what is called, uh, uh, so it's called one is in Bangla uh, Sharangsho and another is like Papsham Prasharan that means you expand something uh, they give you like a, a line or two then you are you are just uh, expressing it bigger way that means you extending uh, the meaning uh, that is uh, ex uh, you know explanation uh, or examples you can add that is and another one is they will give a paragraph or, or, or a page of writing, then you have to write it in summary. Okay, that means, for example, there might be 50 different sentences, but you have to write this meaning of 50 sentences in one or two sentences. Believe me, the whole of my school life, I was struggling with summary. Writing five pages, 10 pages from an one sentence, it was very easy for me. But, and writing summary from a 50 sentences or a couple <coughs> of pages, it was really, really difficult. So what I'm trying to establish here, so writing summary is actually difficult. Actually difficult. So that is the things it's doing in the qualitative research. From a survey, like 50 pe people, you have taken a survey. One survey contains 50 questions probably, or 15 questions, whatever it is. And from this input, and then you have to write a summary of qualitative writing. And there are so many ways, and, and nowadays technology, and the things has been improved. There are so many applications up there. It will help you whenever you have given the input of your uh, survey. And then it will give you a, like a summary and then you just work with the summary. So the things are much more easier right now. So anyway, so again, so quality, quantity research express in number again, 
and it can be expressed through a graph, by chart, bar chart, or whatever you like. There are so many ways you can. And from this type of research, uh, you can find out the facts about the topic, the topic you are going to uh, uh, research. Okay. So, and more, more of it, like common quantity method, how can you do that? And so many people are asking a very basic questions. How can I do that? How can I do the uh, quantitative research? You can do so many ways. And there is number one is you can do the experiments. You might have an observation recorded as number. Observation can be done in qualitative way as well, but you will go by number. Okay, for example, you're observing an employee and then you are observing how well he or she is working. Then you are monitoring him or her like a couple of hours. And then you go by number. For example, how many files he or she has taken care of, how many customers he handled. So this number. So you need a number for quantitative. But if it is qualitative, then you might have seen the different things. For example, you may notice about his, his or her behavior, expressions, dealings, and, and the wording he or she using whenever dealing the customers or uh, employees or uh, his or her colleagues. So this is kind of an observation. So observation can be done both ways. Service can be done both quantitative and qualitative. The uses of survey is different. Okay, so this is a very basic quantity. But in terms of the quantitative, uh, qualitative research, and obviously, as I expressed again, I'm telling, I'm repeating uh, again and again because so that you can pin the things in your head. And this is one of the, the popular teaching technique. It's not like that, oh, I'm repeating intentionally. I'm repeating in, uh, unintentionally. I'm repeating intentionally because so that you can pin the things in your head. Okay, oh, this is means this, so that you will never forget. So again, quality of research expressed in a word, not number. And this is highly challenging work. And I believe you take more time to uh, be expert on qualitative research than quantitative research. Because you know the quantity research, what you have to do, how you get the number, how you get the uh, expressive things like graph or some some number. So that what does it mean? Okay, so you have done so many things in a statistics, correlation, regression, so many things, probability distribution. Probably I will ask some questions to you, uh, but uh, if you cannot answer it, it's okay. But but every single you know, chapter you have gone through, there is the uses of those chapter in the research. But the problem is the way we gone through the statistics chapter in our student life, we just go by method. Okay, how you do that? This is how we have to do the solve the correlation. This is how we have to do the regression. Your professor is here. I know he is knowledgeable than me, definitely. So, but. Uh, ask your professor always, what is the uses of this regression? And then your learning will be complete. We have had a you know, lot of problems in our student life. We did calculus, we did uh, like a algebra, we did so many things in science and especially in intermediate uh, uh, level. The problem is we never ask our professors or teachers because of some uh, shyness or shakiness, whatever. Uh, that what are the uses of this? Why I'm doing this? And probably this question should be asked in at the age of 10 to 12, 15, but we didn't ask that. For that mistake, then we have to carry our uh, like uh, zero knowledge until we came to the uh, university level. And then still we didn't know that uh, what is the uses of this? And then we carry again zero knowledge another 10, 15 years. Probably some people will die with that zero knowledge. Why? Because they are not dealing with these things. We are lucky that we came to this world 
and we are playing with the, some methods and we are trying to do some research. That's how we are playing it again. Then we are just recovering ourselves. Oh, so we have some vacuum over there. So I am telling this, you might have a degree. You have, might have a, like a degree of SSC, HSC, undergrad, graduate. And mashallah, in Bangladesh, so many people are having a two, three masters. Actually, in Western world, you can see this picture. They have hardly have undergrad. They do the masters when they need in the job life. And there is a lot of discussion on, on that issue. So um, it's not like a generic words, but this is a typical practice here. Because they think once you did the undergrad, that means you have enough capability to deal a job. They believe when they think about the leadership, for example, you are going to work as a top level manager or high executive board or something like that, then they feel, oh, I need a postgraduate. And most of the cases, the Americans people are doing postgraduation when companies are going to sponsor them. Okay, you need further development to serve us. So this is a different perspective. Why I'm telling this because we are doing the, the, the degrees, we have a certificate at our, in our home, but the problem is we are not learning that deep. And we have a lot of complaints from the uh, job market that, oh, you have two masters, but you don't know how to write a application. You don't know how to write a report. You don't know um, how to write an email. So this is not the things we are learning every day in student life. We learn it from business communication or marketing communication, something like that. So only one application from one subject we fail to uh, replicate in our practical life. Forget about the research thing. So it's an upper level things again. So I'm sure that all of you will not go for uh, teaching career or even if you go for the teaching career, if you are going to in university level teaching career, you may have a chance to dig out all this quantitative quality research and all this. So, but I'm just giving a perspective that uh, the fill your vacuum, it's not too late. Um, fill your vacuum, you need something which is mandatory in the practical world, writing a good email, um, uh, expressible, uh, how many sentences you can conclude. And uh, you know the salutation, you know the proper etiquette of uh, writing an email or communication. And this is very important. So, so it's a different perspective because uh, the things I missed in my student life, that's why I'm mentioning like this. Anyway, so again, qualitative is an expression in words. So this is really you have to understand. That means, as I say, 50 sentences, make in one sentence or two sentence or 50 sentences or make it one or two sentences uh, for two pages, three pages, four pages. So that's why these two sentence will not be easy to write. That's why it says in-depth insight. So the things you are going to write, um, this is really something in-depth insight. It will cover the whole thing. Even you may be asked one day if you are going to be expert, and uh, probably you read a book of 20 chapter, they will tell you, someone will ask you, can you write a page to make a review of this book? Can you do it in this time, in this period? I believe, I'm not saying you cannot do that, but I am very doubt that even I can do that. Uh, I'm sharing one real example. When I came here in 2020 in COVID situation, one of the publisher contacted with me and they asked me to write a review of four chapters in a, of a book. That means they asked me to do a review of a five or four chapter, I forgot. So believe me, I thought it's very interesting. And then I take this job. And when I start reading five chapters, and then I said, how can I summary, make a summary again? I have a problem with the summary. So how can I make a summary of these five chapters in one page? 
believe me, I will never take this uh, such job again um, consciously. And it kills my, I believe I didn't count, but it kills my hundreds of hours. Hundreds of hours. And then I could do so many important tasks. I just fall behind of so many things I need to do. Um, to do the only, the, because I have, I, have, I have given a commitment and I will do that. Obviously, I will try to do it in my free time, not again in the busy time. So why I'm telling this, this is something qualitative. Just reading something exists, which is an existence, which has the existence, and you read it and you make a summary. But for qualitative research, you have to find something interesting, new, which is not exist in the world. And then you have to write something interesting within a few sentences and which will have an in-depth insight. And then you can uh, express something which people will read and understand, oh, this is what you mean. So this is very interesting. So I think I'm not going to cover all these things. I will give this slide if you want through your professor. Um, I made this slide because none of the words is from my word, believe me. Uh, I make this slide like within eight to 10 minutes. I didn't count the minutes, uh, but eight to 10 minutes. Believe me, I found something uh, Google interesting and I just cut and copy and paste here. Okay, I, I get the link as well at the end. So you should do that as well. Whenever you don't know something, you guys are so lucky. Ask your professor. We didn't have Google on the time, in our time. We didn't have this kind of email system. And so many things we didn't have. If we come, I always tell my student, and especially Bangladeshi student, if we come this far, you should go the Mars. Because you have all the weapon you have. All the weapon you have. So see. I'm giving free lectures from USA to uh, uh, Bangladesh. You know, for such arrangement, once upon a time, some universities used to take the professor and they gave it like a, uh, uh, what is called communication cost. That means traveling cost. They gave a five-star hotel and they arranged a couple of days conference or seminar workshop or whatever, okay. And now the things are getting easier. You, if you dig out the YouTube, you'll find hundred thousands of the videos. So many people are, you know, spreading their knowledge. So you should take this advantage. You should take that advantage. Bangla bolle amra jodi etu koshi abar bolsi apthara chang mondo mongol grohe thakar kotha. Very simple. Because you the guys have all the weapon. Competition, the scope is gone up. Yesterday I just expressed. Uh, one information in my Facebook, by 2030, USA will have job opportunity of 1.2 crore. 1.2 crore. So who will do this job? Do you know? 90% will be immigrant. So who will be the immigrant? Indian, Bangladeshi, Pakistani, all the countries around the world. So you guys have a lot of opportunity. And now don't ask me, take me over there because there is a way of coming here you have to come as a student or some other way and then you will get a opportunity so don't expect spoon feeding but we are doing a lot of spoon feeding to so many people for example this workshop even i'm not an elite probably that much of knowledgeable but still i believe this kind of session is very worthy but i found only three or four guys here so this is not good because you don't, you the guys are not caring this. You the guys are not like understanding. Yeah, we have, we have 10 right now. We have 10 right now. Okay, I didn't see the participant anyway. So, yeah. but initially I have been three for that. So I'm, I'm sorry for that. So, but the problem is you didn't maintain time. I know your professor is flexible, but I'm not that very kind using the kind words. Time is time. Whenever you, someone say nine, it's nine. Believe me, this commitment will give you and an such a, uh, like a height of like impression in your work, uh, work life. You know, um, 
Dr. Khandoka that our Nuruddin Choudhury sir, uh, he died a couple of years ago. He was my icon because he's my icon is still because if there is a meeting at the age of 70, he came 10, 15 minutes earlier. We were like his students of his students of his students. That means three generations later students. Then we used to go 15 minutes later. In some cases, we don't feel we need, uh, we do not need to participate there. Okay, we'll discuss with someone else uh, what was the discussion. We are so busy. So what he achieved, what we are going to achieve. So punctuality is very important. It's for you, not, not for me. It's for you. Anyway, so this is not good whenever the time is time. Remember, you have to three minutes earlier. I have seen three or four guys come, uh, I think, immediate after me. I appreciate them. Believe me, you the guys will go far away. I didn't um, you know, point out the name, but I believe if you maintain this etiquette, you will go far away. Okay, there is a positive thing as well. Anyway, now, if you have any question, just raise your hand or uh, uh, like ask me in the what is called chat box. I have two screens, so I'm not following the other screen, right? Uh, so uh, yes, now I can follow. So now, how you do that? All this research, for example, how you collect the data. So for quantitative research, you may use surveys. Also, you can use surveys in quant qualitative as well, as I said. So surveys means uh, there is a uh, like a big difference between surveys and uh, what is called um, uh, like jitamra jadam shumari holo ekon ete kabar ete ki nam dilo jani anyway so the surveys uh, this is different whenever you select the whole population <laughs> census, isn't it? you're talking about census right yeah census. census right thanks thank you so the census is means then whenever you are selecting the whole numbers that means the whole population a survey means then you are going to conduct survey 50 people but it denotes it denotes that okay that okay 18 180 million people or uh, some people's whatever their expression whatever their opinion i am extracting this opinion through the 50 people so this is why survey is not uh, what we used to do we used to like do the survey in our convenience. Okay, I got 50 people. I know 50 people, then I'm selecting 50. This is not the way you can get the, the, the pure representative, the word, the pure representation. That means the way you take one person from one classroom, whatever he or she is going to tell, it should be represent the whole class opinion. So that's how the survey list should be there. If I talk about, uh, uh, like a uh, what is the way of selecting the population, like how you select the, the representation number, and then this is something different, uh, a discussion. So, and you can do the experiment, as I say, and like for doing the experimentation, you cannot do the whole experiment. You can do the experiment on certain variables. Regarding the variable, I have a, like a couple of words. For example, in our childhood, who did X, Y, X, Y, so many maths. We never ask our professors again, what is X, what is Y? That's very interesting. So, uh, so this is a two variable solution. Most of the, uh, uh, like a mathematical problems we solve is a two uh, variables. In some cases we add Y, that means third variable. Believe me, in practice, in practical life, millions of variables are working in our surrounding. So just think about that. We are we are struggling to solve a problem with the two variable. Whenever Y came third as a third variable, and it was a nightmare. When millions of variables will work in the same, uh, like a parameters or the same scope, what will happen? We will be mad, like anything. So you need to understand that actually 
it's not like our choice to select X and Y. What is X? What is that? X may be the age, Y may be the income or uh, something, blah, blah. So you should question yourself. What, you, what did you do in our, in our past? What is X? What is Y? What is uh, uh, Z or whatever? And, and now solve the problem. There are so many videos again. You cannot go back to the school life right now. You cannot probably ask the silly question to your university professor. And it's better dig yourself. And you have to, as I said always, then keep one to two hours. If your basic is too poor, you have to keep three to four hours initially. Within a couple of months, your knowledge will be something different. Believe me. Anyway. So through observation, we talked about a little bit of observation. We have a time crunch. So the qualitative, the qualitative research, the basically data collection can be done through the interviews. As I said, it may be the open-ended or it may be the close-ended. What is the open-ended and close-ended? Open-ended means some interview you said, the interviewer never see uh, like organized any question yet. So the spontaneously they're asking questions then and, and someone is replying that. So this is called open-ended. And the close-ended means whenever you have a boundary, you have a 10 questions, and then uh, you have, there is an how to select the questions among the, the questionnaires. So this is another uh, field of study. So I'm not going that. Uh, focus group, you, you may make a focus group, like whatever research, for example, you are doing research on poultry industry. So you have to select, six knowledgeable person, not in the same field. For example, someone is from production, someone is from marketing, someone is from uh, supplier, someone is from supply chain perspective. So this is how you have to make a focus group. Someone is decision maker, and then you may make a, fo make a focus group of like a six to 10 or six to eight, there is a number, but we don't follow the numbers all the time. If you feel that it go 15, you can control the 15 people in a session, then you can do that. Okay. And uh, ethnography, uh, that it means you can participate in a community organization for an extended period of time and closely understand the culture and behavior. The things we are doing here. I'm from Bangladesh. When I come to USA for the first time, I still remember I was observing a lot, rather talking. I joined in WIU in 2019. So first one year I talked very less because I tried to understand, I'm capturing the, all the information and what's going on in my surroundings. What is the environment? What is their understanding? Uh, how they interpret your words and all this. And then once I settled down, okay, this is enough. And now you have to express yourself. And the last but not the least, the literature review. So we talked about the literature review a lot. You know, our literature review is not easy task. Believe me, it's a very difficult task. So if you Google it for a scholarly article, go to the Google Scholar. I believe your professor already mentioned this. For if you Google, simple Google it, then you will find a lot of garbage, a lot of garbage. You upload something, it comes to the Google. Uh, whenever it matches with the key, then it will come. But whenever you go to the Google, Google Scholar, or you search a keyword, it will give you the scholarly article reference and you can categorize them. Then which way you want, year-wise or some other way, okay. So this is uh, the very beautiful way to find out the literature. First, you have to select, get the literature and read the literature and find out. It's a very huge impact of searching literature. For example, I can remember, I think we did the PhD. Actually, we never counted. Probably we have gone through, even we didn't read the whole article. And probably we have gone through 5,000, 10,000 articles. We didn't, probably we didn't read all of this because we read the first pages. What is the interesting part? And then if we find, okay, we need to read the whole article and then we read the whole article. So by reading the whole article or the partial article, we have to find out actually what kind of research have been done, what's new. Research means you are doing something new. I'm repeating again, you are doing something new, which no one done before. Understand? It is very important. 
It's not like that. The, the way still we think, okay, I'll do a research, but we never care about who did it, what. So we, you have to do the, 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 you know, deep zoom into the topic, zoom into the topic again, find out. And there are so many research in the market, whatever the keyword you will search, thousands, thousands of uh, uh, research will be come out. Okay. You do not need to read all of this like a uh, start to end, but at least first pages and the discussion and the outcome pages. And so that you understand, oh, this has been done, so I cannot do that. Very simple. Okay. So there is a, like a, so many ways that con, you know, uh, confirmatory test, which I call uh, like um, for a theory or you have to build a hypothesis. This is another kind of discussion. You need hours of time to understand hypothesis. Then you have to understand hypothesis means. What is your assumptions? But you cannot assumptions by your own. So these assumptions will come out from the literature reviews. What is the vacuum areas? What is the research gap we are talking about? And based on the research gap, how many questionnaire you can be asked, how many hypotheses you might have, but you cannot play with the, all the hypotheses. Your research will not solve the, all the problems of the world. Definitely. So you have to research is a very a small, tiny matters you have to choose, and then you have to solve this problem. You have to find, dig into the whole, right? The whole lot of you have to zoom into the, the whole things. Okay. So, anyway, uh, for qualitative research, understand something. What do you understand? The concept, again, thoughts and experiences. So, what kind of experience? As I said, then you go to a community then you're observing them and then you are finally have an outcome. Okay, I found this within this uh, time frame. Okay, so again, the examples will be uh, much more easier. So for quantitative research, for example, uh, 300 students at your university and ask them the question on a scale from one to five and you define one to five and there is a, there's a lot of learning in scaling as well. So as I said, Research methodology is the ocean. We are playing with a, like a one piece of sand. Okay, so uh, like one to five, you have to define what is one, what is five. For example, one is very good, five is very bad. So, and how satisfied are you with your professors? And you can perform a statistical analysis and get the data, draw the conclusion and average students related to the professor 4.4. So this is your outcome. But whenever you come to a like a qualitative, same problem, but you cannot, you are not going to quantify. You have asked like an in-depth interview, you will have with the 15 student, ask the open-ended question. They they make a summary of a, like a, what professor did with them. And based on the answer, you can, follow up questions and clarify things and transcribe into it. This is very important for the qualitative research transcribing. That means the interview you have taken, you have to transcribe it. And, and you see there is a link here, transcri transcription software. If you Google it, then you will find uh, a number of uh, software is available. I, I, as I said, you the guys are so lucky. Uh, that you're born in a technological era, so uh, the things are much more easier. But at the same time, you have to do something unique so that you will be identified yourself as a good researcher, which is a very difficult part. But everything will oh, come. Sir, can I can I ask one question? Yes, go ahead. Uh, in, in our time, we had to pay. Uh, you know that I was qualitative, purely qualitative. Mm -hmm. I had to do sixty-five interviews. I haven't used all of them. Anyway, but for the transcription, I had to pay a lot of money to the students, actually, Dhaka University mm -hmm. students, to transcribe my data. So is there a software like from Bangla to English? Transcribe Bangla uh, interview? Even if there is any, I don't know, because my domain is quantitative, as you okay. know that. I'm not dealing with the qualitative. It so save a I, lot of money. <laughs> I think there is an vivo or something they did, right? And we would do the thematic analysis and things, oh. there, but they are doing it in, uh, yeah, they do it. Like they, they do some transcription, I think. In the, if you put an audio, it will come to the, yeah, that's another thing. But I don't know the Bangla language is very technical, you see. 
some people don't answer directly and they sometimes put some you know phrases and idioms in bangla i don't think any anyone can translate them into english the, 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 the problematic uh, thing is that uh, for example you have given the job to dhaka university students mm. they don't know anything about the transcription okay some so of them had experiences in some research project no no i know that. but whatever they did i believe i'm sure <coughs> that you have to redo the whole things yeah you have yeah, to go had... through the whole things you have to correct it all this they didn't do the 100% yeah. job for you because why i'm yeah, telling sure. this there is a huge opportunity for opening an another business for someone so they will yeah. do the transcription business with the research yeah. that will give the job to them we will pay yeah. the money for example we get grant or whatever from our own pocket yeah. they will do yeah. on behalf of so what i'm talking about as a researcher i'm not going to do the whole lot of things yes so sure. that's what i mean so then you have to you have to make a puzzle right you have a lot of pieces so you are giving a job to some other people you are you are you are just complete the puzzle mm -hmm. that's how the international those who are publishing every day they are yeah. doing something like that they are not doing a, 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 a from a to z so they the, they are giving job a b c to someone they collect all these things and they they complete the puzzle so that's why our productivity is not good because we do not have enough fund to, to give the job to someone to do the abc yeah. things right yeah. anyway so for mixed method you can blend both of these you can quantify at the same time uh, you can do some uh, qualitative uh, like the thematic things as well so uh, i'm not going to deep um, uh, because time is uh, we have already 953 here so qualitative quantitative data is based on number again so you can do the statistic analysis you can do the mathematical analysis most of the time we are using spss excel is a very powerful program i am telling you the guys one thing some people are miss you know uh, what is called um, underestimate the excel if you know excel very well you do not need to do any kind of like spss or any any kind of things you know spss is advanced excel is a, a very i am talking about the excel i'm sorry um, excel is a very powerful program if you have free time learn advanced excel by paying someone bangladesh 2000 3000 taka de sikhay you know for this learning you can do the freelancing you can earn you know hundreds of thousand dollar in, in the coming days so don't i didn't realize nobody told me on the time because excel is a very powerful uh, program lot of problem we are solving in excel uh, here companies are telling us here i'm not talking about bangladesh here companies are giving us a recommendation please give excel learning to your student we do not need to uh, see the simulation learning we only need to see any kind of other things no only excel so that they can calculate something by their own self they can take a decision they can compare uh, uh, option 2 option 3 versus uh, option 4 and they they advise to the company that's what they want then you are you will be an employee so you have to suggest based on the number then which one will be good for the company okay one sided uh, conversation uh, so i'm just asking a very simple question here can someone answer me that in correlation you have done correlation regression uh, what is correlation can someone answer me so the relation between two variable what is the number you are getting in correlation what is the range of number you are getting in correlation any idea anybody can answer <laughs> feel free it's like a homely discussion so if you don't learn today you will not learn tomorrow as well so have you ever seen that the correlation output is like outcome is plus 3 Mm -hmm. see you you have you have gone through the correlation 
by this time you got one and a half minutes i i raised this question you can google it by this time you can answer me that's how you can learn it i'm not going to ask you oh have you googled it right so <laughs> i know that you are going to google it but see the things you have gone through you paid the money to the you were private university student you paid the money we are we are we, we, we you know we are started free like in Chittang University we gone through shuttle train uh, we have spent three hours uh, on the way back two hours um, two hours with the five hours gone from our life and then we didn't have enough good lunch like five or six years we did something like that we didn't bother what was the learning outcome but you the people should ca careful because you are spending money you are. Uh, paying from your pocket. We pay 12 taka, if I'm not wrong, 12 taka per month. And we got the scholarship and with that scholarship, we actually covered the even 12 taka as well with the, the, the fooding and uh, lodging, not lodging, fooding, I should say. So our case is different, but still we didn't do the good job. So correlation should be plus one, plus minus one. Right, so I'm not going to teach you uh, more than this here. So you have to Google it, or from the book, whatever way, learn then how to run the correlation. What is the outcome? What does it mean of minus one? Why it's not more than minus one? Why it's not more than plus one? How it denotes? Again, from now on, whatever you did, did whatever you are going to learn. And whatever, whatever you have learned, if you remember, okay, what did you learn from probability distribution? Okay. So can someone answer me? What is the highest value of the probability distribution? Probability man koto be koto hote pare sharvuchcha. Should I say you don't know anything? But it's not nice, right? But you should be careful what you learn. Okay. So. Oppositely, if correlation is giving you the things uh, Zanin said that the, you are finding a relation between A versus B, but you didn't able to tell me uh, that what is the range of the values. And at the same time, you ask yourself, okay, if we do the correlation, then what is the role of regression? Okay, so I'm not embarrassing you, the guys. So if I were you, probably I have at the same situation. I'm giving a finger to your eyes that you have got to blame with the bourbon once upon a time. Oh, I have given an interview. I didn't have mama, chacha or jetha. Then I'm not getting job because you have less quality than some other people. So that's why you have to be very careful. Learn yourself. You will have a multiple and, and a number of jobs on your footstep. And then see, you will not bug of anything. So regression is giving you the value of the interpretation of the, the correlation between the two variables. So anyway, just make a summary of that. Okay, what you, you are going to do with the regression? What you are going to do the like some other things? So that's how your learning will be near to complete. I'm not saying complete, near to complete. At least you can answer, okay, I have done this. Oh. This will solve this problem. And now the, the, the second question you should have in your mind, how and what kind of problem I'm going to solve with that things? Google it, YouTube it, you'll find the answer. Spend an hour, see, we are spending hours of time by seeing uh, YouTube, the garbage videos, Amir Khan's videos or Shah Rukh Khan's videos or movies or whatever. I'm not saying you are not going to watch it. You, uh, you should watch it or so, but watch everything, whatever you like, but give some time to whatever you learn so that at least you will feel proud. Nobody can finger your, uh, yourself that, okay, you didn't learn anything. What did you learn? And it will blame your university, it blame yourself. It, it, it probably blame your parents. It's not nice. Okay, so I'm just, telling is very important. So, and the, the, then another part of the research is testing the reliability and validity. This is another ocean topic. 
so I'm not going to do that, but in a simplistic way, reliable means whenever you run a model or run a research again and again and again, then you are getting closest possible results so that your research will show that it is reliable. And validation means the things you have done, it is validated. That means the variable you have chosen, the context you have chosen, that means yeah, these are validated and not other variables are, 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 are valuable than these, these, the variables you have chosen. So this is a very simplistic answer. To learn this problem, I have to spend an, uh, years of time. So, but you have to go through the reliability and validity is the last thing you have to do. You have done the model and you have run through the surveys and results and discussions. And then through the discussion, you have to prove the things you have done, then it is reliable and it is validated. Okay. So uh, the, I think I'm not, uh, because you the guys have a little problem with the basics, fix your basic, because don't think the knowledge will not be required in the future. You never know what kind of knowledge you need tomorrow. I never thought, I never saw a like a dream by mistake, I will be a professor one day. But my career, like, I always want to be like uh, something corporate things. Okay, um, I'll be corporate tycoon or something like that. But I never seen a dream, but now I'm teaching like 20 second years. So you never know how you may- You're, also, chair, you're also chairman of, of, of a big uh, dairy farm in Chino, right? No, it's okay. This is a different identity. I'm not saying so. I'm not, so this is, at least I'm happy now, the contribution I have done in my lifetime, that means the life I have gone through so far, I'm happy that I contributed in a, the things uh, your professor mentioned in a company, it grew up from zero to in a certain uh, level. So I, 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 I keep it like a tiny contribution over there. I was a professor, I tried my best to contribute. This is a different thing. So anyway, so I'm not, this will actually give you the more insight. I'm just telling all of you, requesting all of you. See, my point is we Bangladeshi has a lot of talent, but we are not using talent. You know, if we review our childhood, actually the way we wasted our time, okay, and then we 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 had to compensate. Uh, of those, you know, wastage of time, that way we wasted our time. So I'm requesting you, you have almost done your uh, undergrad. That means you do not have enough time. You'll be job market very soon. So what is in your pocket? The big question. A certificate is nothing. So many people have certificate right now. So nobody will value your certificate until or unless you have to prove yourself you are little identical than others. Little identical than others, little different than others. Yeah, I'm coming to Zobar, give me a second. So the principles of research design, uh, you know, do some self-research on ontology, epistemology, methodology, method technology. If I'm telling all this, uh, your head will be spinning right now. So I'm not, uh, it's too many things. You cannot digest whole these things. Uh, you cannot take two plates of biryani at a time. Okay. You cannot take two plates of biryani, even uh, lunch and dinner. And after you the lunch, you the biryani can, then you will look for a dalvat uh, in the dinner time, right? So because you have to digest it. So I'm not going to maybe. I'm going to explain this anyway. Anyway, though I think these things I'll explain in the next class to them. This okay. design. So uh, I hope I'm leaving it to your brother because it's a little bit expressive things because uh, uh, the word is not easy to understand because as I said that very simple, uh, you know, but it's you have to research a little bit. The, as, as a simplistic way, ontology uh, is like assumptions, okay? Uh, you make the nature of the world and reality. Uh, and epistemology is basically investigating the, the world. The, the problems you have. Methodology means the way and the methods you are going to apply, the techniques you are going to apply to solve your research problem. And also the lasting technique is more or less, I think, the procedure or skill completing a specific task. 
to finish your research, you may need to adopt few techniques. And so this technique has to be discussed in your research. So anyway, these are the main schools of ontology, epistemology. So there is a positive based and social. Science. So I'm not going to discuss all these things, as I said, because this is a completely different uh, discussion, but you need this if you want to be a researcher. Uh, even uh, one more thing, uh, to understand research methodology is not that you are going to be a researcher. If you want to be an analytical boss, analytical executive, for example, uh, we have a reputed company in Bangladesh, like uh, right now, the Roby or uh, Grameen or some other companies. If you want to be a, something top executive CEO of those companies, you should be a strong background of uh, like interpretation and analytical skill. And, and if you understand this as methodology, it will help you to be good in analytics because the world is moving towards not only the computer science and there is another field is very booming right now, business analytics. Uh, every analytics is so powerful right now. Uh, Every discipline is adopting analytics. For example, marketing is saying, we have a marketing analytics, okay? The management says the management analytics because they understand without analytics, you cannot go deep inside of the problems and find out the problems, okay? So I think Zubair or someone has raised your, uh, his hand. So what was your question? Sir, I'm a लेक्चर <laughs> बंद कर दिए रिटेल मार्केट रिसार्च कर मेल कर छाने बुजुर्गी मानी 
ভালোভাবে ফোকাস করতে পারেনি তাদের জন্য অনেকটা আমরা পিছিয়ে গিয়েছি না আমার আই হ্যাভ এ পয়েন্ট इट्स डिफरेंट व्यूज प्रोबेबली यू विल लर्न वन डे आई थिंक पीपल लर्न एवरीडे सो द एरा वी आर just now then you have to feed yourself uh, to learn through online because it will not go away even pandemic go away but this zoom or online learning online session will be continued the problem is i already mentioned here i can see 10 15 whatever the people a, most of them are you know didn't switch on the webcam i don't know what they are doing behind the scene so it's not my job whether you are going to be attentive i told i request a number of time if i am your professor then i will stop talking okay so but i am a guest lecturer here lecturer here or guest presenter so i am not going to be rule something i am a very strict professor in my class even here so i don't care about who is who like me or who don't like me so i i the way i work actually you will thank me after 30 years and you can say all the bad words right now but you will thank me after 30 years that's how i i did my teaching i'm doing to, trying to but yes usa you cannot do a lot of things but in bangladesh we can do a lot of things so anyway not not anymore not anymore <laughs> no it, it's up to you know you know better yeah. than me i'm not sure what's going on over there but obviously there is a frustrating point you the see students, i i make no, them no, no, penalize give me a, give me a second yeah. students i'm not i do respect the jovers comment but students are always blaming something is going on the mathers or professors or the way so my question is okay professor didn't give you anything so i already told that i didn't get, i didn't mention any of my teachers name the very simplistic way that i do respect them i don't know i'm not going to dig out all these things i didn't get it i didn't get it. if i tell something bad i'll not get it right now but what i can do myself i can improve myself by learning by myself because as i i mentioned so many times there are so many weapons in the in the in the web right now it's a free you know i am buying a, a, right now the license for microsoft word and microsoft like office after come here but we never paid a single penny in bangladesh right right <laughs> so you will Still. <laughs> whenever you come to the like a western world or a, you know structured world then you have to pay from your pocket they don't care whether you have money or not so we have a lot of blessings we have a lot of blessings as well if you pay 100 dollars every year last like a, my age is like around 48 so i had to pay like at least 3000 dollar for only the microsoft word for sbss for some other so many software we are we used to use so anyway so the the thing is that if you go back and see then what we didn't get it due to some reasons okay forget it because we cannot go go to the past and fix the things okay we have to look because this is your career this is your career as a teacher if i am not able to give you something then you cannot like leave it alone you have to fill the gap that's what was my point in the middle then the basic things need to be fixed by yourself even if your institute or your professor or your parents didn't do it don't blame them just because you have the weapon right now and free your weapon then you fix yourself but always if you want to learn more you will get a lot of sessions nowadays a lot of um, opportunity and then you will learn one day so anyway i'm not going to uh, so uh, look at yourself what kind of how you spend your 24 hours you know uh, i'm just showing you one thing whenever i uh, i'm using iphone anyway um, but it's not the updated version uh, why i'm telling this so i always use the summary how i am using the my iphone then it's saying okay and i sometimes i am scared or oh, out of 5 hours i have done uh, like a facebooking 3 hours so yeah. and then do it yourself and then very next day i try to reduce at least half an hour and increase i have seen okay what is the productive things i have done okay i see only google i have done 40 minutes out of 5 hours 13 minutes 
So I'm shocked. So, and the next day I'm stressing out to do some little bit of Googling, do whatever you want. Like yesterday I found that my water tap is not, is broken. So I did the Google, okay, how can I fix myself so that I can save hundred bucks? Because if I call a plumber and he will charge $150, at least $150 and I have to buy a new faucet. So anyway, so do whatever you like. So in that, this is the way you will have a habit of doing the Google and then you will find the right link. You have to find out. And so if you like, there is a, like a, you know, ability to search the right document. If you Google it, there will be a lot of garbage will come, as I said. Then you have to find the right, right things for you in a quickest possible time so that you can save your time as well in the online. The problem is we don't see ourselves. We have seen a movie for four hours. But if you count yourself, the whole month you didn't Google for the learning purpose for four hours. So anyway, I'm not, I do not know what is your situation. Do not need to defend yourself. There is no <coughs> point of defending yourself and myself here. Know thyself, Socrates already say, or said long before that know thyself is the very most challenging task, yes. So we have our own character. We have to fix our character. We have to fix, utilize our time proper way so that we can learn every day. So if you learn it and it will give privilege to you first. And then if you want to provide it, for example, what I'm doing right now, it's not easy for an, any kind of American professor give it like a two hours of time free of cost. Nobody will do that probably except few. Why well, I'm not showing myself like, like a bigger something? No, because this is a passion. This is a passion. What passion? I didn't get it in my childhood. I didn't get it in my university life. That's what, if I'm getting an opportunity, I'm giving right away. If I, even I'm in a busy schedule right now. So, because I'm not, I know very less, but whatever, if I have an opportunity, so you have to do that in future. Okay, this is a, Secondary matters. Um, first, you have to learn yourself. First, you have to take your position in a particular position. So one last thing I should say, there are so many things I can say. So if you improve yourself, a lot of opportunity will, will come to your doorstep. That is true. So this is, I think I'm not going to uh, elaborate all these things again and again. That's what I believe. If you have super talent, Go by talent. If you do not have any talent, effort. Okay. That means Bharai Kartban. So that's how I did probably. So I do not have that much of talent. So I try, try, try. And so many things I try millions of times, literally millions of times, probably. And then I failed, failed, failed. And one day I did it. Okay. So how many nights I just, uh, now I have a neurological problem because why, you know, because I never care about how many hours I sleep. And so many of us <coughs> waking up at 10 a.m. Mm. Go to the uh, bed right at 1 or 2 a.m. It's not a good habit. Early to, like early go to the bed and rise early. So this is a very old proverb in our par parents used to say, right? So this is actually useful. If you work one hour after Fajr, like a six to seven or six to eight, the two hours productivity equals to the whole day's productivity. That's what I believe. And whenever I have a huge load, today is Saturday, nobody's there at the building and Americans are not working Saturday, but I am the only person shouting here. So- Oh, well, you're in the office there. right now? In the yes, office? It's, it's my office. Uh, so study room. I, okay. I cannot do, uh, this, this, this is the professionalism, man. So because if I do it at my home, my kids will come around me and then they will bug me, right? So because I take it seriously. That's why I'm saying that you the guys are not serious. Oh. <laughs> you the guys Thank are you not very serious. Much. If, I, if I can wrap it up, uh, because it's already, uh, I think we have taken enough time from you. Thank you very much. I just want to wrap, wrap up with a few things of this session. Uh, and basically, I, I, I didn't actually introduce yourself in the class that much because it was rushed and last minute. 
we talked and then we discussed and then we put it into the board. So the thing is actually, uh, all, uh, Mr. Uh, you have heard this Professor Shamsul Dua, he had, uh, I know him personally. Uh, and uh, thank you for all those who came and make this, uh, you know, the students in private universities are too lazy, but I think that my students came late, but actually they participated to make this event, uh, event eventful. Um, I didn't mean it, you know, better you <laughs> So, but yeah. I'm so giving the, a, I am giving a yeah. red flag. I'm giving what you said is, is very right. What you said is very right. And uh, I, I know that what you said is right and they will learn from you. So the few things he Shamsuddha has told, one thing actually to learn from him, actually he started from, I think he had a very uh, zigzag life. I saw him in Australia. I saw him in Bangladesh. We've been together in the Chitra University. So he had a very long career um, in teaching. He was a professor in Chitra University. Uh, he had a lot of research experience he could not share in this uh, small moment. But I think that we had him, it is an opportunity for all of us. And he said a few things which is very uh, highlighting. One thing is actually how to approach the learning. And he said about, uh, also he put a finger on that where is our lackings are in as a Bengali. Bangladesh is a very good lackings. Private university, Bangladesh, university, lackings. Please fix those things. The teaching uh, is very, very challenging when the students are not learning or they are not on time and they are not actually caring. It is Ojidabolo Amutic same page and that is makes our life difficult. Uh, he thinks about, he talked about the research, a lot about the research is a big ocean. a small part we discuss Kutisi. So learning is never ending. Learning taken to teacher classroom with the department. Also he told, he told you that if there's a lot of opportunities in all, worldwide, but you have to capture these opportunities by being that shape. A shape that the Anarjun know, we are trying, uh, we are giving you help. Look, if you if you want, you can get help. Through this uh, some kind of guest uh, senior like uh, professors uh, coming and giving us an opportunity. Because Amada the passion, Ojeka Bolo, this passion brings him to this classroom. Uh, besides my friend, he's he's giving a lot of sessions like this in Facebook, in other area. Even the other student uh America Porte Jai Tad say on information DH on Jigula Amra Amra Sars Kurigo Dakati Dong Dura Amagula Kalat Kursi how to uh, go to the university base. But I think that we are lacking that we are not recognizing this uh, value. Uh, it has a class of participation. Amount is still calm. I'm just about to So, if you look into actually discouraging, it uh, uh, could be problematic that we, we don't know what we are missing. So, please uh, take uh, uh, the uh, take whatever the he said, and I think that will give you a. So, should do ask a career progression of a problem. Abong, I'm other learning it the opportunity. Gulo, I'm other hat. I'd say about learning a shave up or a correlation regulation. They go for a. I mean, child, you are a person about the body opportunity. Okay, to highlight courses that there is a lot of uh, career, even in research. In the Amade student of Canadian money, a bank job for a back a clerical job for a person, a move for a serobolo, the very challenging to go in USA and Australia and build a build a life in there. And we had done that, and we are still progressing. We are still learning. He is still learning. I'm still learning. So, I think that is a very good session. Thank you, Samson Joa. Yes, so I have a very quick point because. Hmm. Uh, I have done a lot of uh, uh, like a uh, Facebook live uh, when in the COVID situation. So most of the U.S. university, most of the mid-level, mid-range universities, uh, mm -hmm. web, ILTS, GRE, GMAT for the time being, you know, because USA is a country of immigrants. So they predict then what they need. They need 12 million people by 2030. So who will be those people? The immigrant, most of the people as a student. So we have a the big responsibility because I told so many people, I spread the word so many times, even I'm nobody. I'm not a, like a famous like Arifa Hussain or some other people has a millions of followers. But I try to reach as much as possible to my students and friends of friends that see there are a lot of opportunity going on. No royalty is required, just apply, apply, apply. So, so many students come. This university, I have had only one Bangladeshi student when I came. And after a while, two years, within 75 students. But I, I'm just uh, pausing the record for the time being because some of the students 